Happy Saturday to you. Welcome. Welcome to the Ultimate Manifestation Podcast. I'm your host, Reverend Sean Robert Grant. Excited to be here with you wherever you are listening. Hope this message finds you well and fantastic. More so than you could ever imagine. Yes, sending out that good juju for you right off the bat, guys. If you have any questions about anything that you'd like to share, that you'd like to get my input on, please, by all means, give me a shout at SeanG04 at gmail.com, S-H-A-U-N-G-04 at gmail.com, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. With that being said, yes, today is about manifesting your dreams. If you weren't here for the last episode I had, I mentioned how it was important for me to really begin to use this podcast to help people to to accomplish their dreams. And, and more importantly, not necessarily accomplish, but to manifest. Right. Because it's all about manifesting. And, you know, with everything that's out there today, manifesting can sometimes seem difficult. But I can tell you right off the bat, it's really just about understanding how to get out of your own way, how not to press things, how to allow the universe to um, to really just help you to unfold um, everything and you just kind of get in where you fit in, so to speak, you sort of connect the dots. So, you know, it, it, uh, <laughs> it's interesting because like I said, when I first got into, well, I didn't say it yet, but I've said before, when I first got into the law of attraction, it was like this mysterious, like magical, you know, <laughs> um, essence, you know, it was pretty much like, like magic works. And it seemed so far away until I realized and learned that it is happening every moment of the day. Okay. Happening every single moment of the day. And the reality is, is that, you know, we have the ability to really hone in on it. And when I say hone in, we have the ability to allow ourselves to really just to, to be in a space, to be in a position where we allow it to work for us because we're, we're putting ourselves in a perfect, perfect place to allow the universal mind to help us. And, um, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful beyond measure. And like I said, I'm excited. So let's get into it today. And, um, yeah, let's really discuss the idea of, um, let's really discuss the idea of what it means to manifest your dreams and what it means to open yourself up to the truth of, um, not needing anyone else, right? Not needing anyone else to, uh, to sort of be a missing piece. Okay. I mean, let me, let me get to a place where I can say this. I actually got a better, I got a better idea. I'm going to give you an example. So a long time ago, I decided that I was going to be an actor. And at the time when I decided I was going to be an actor, I was living in New Orleans. And as you know, yeah, at one point in time, I would say about a four or five year stretch, New Orleans was definitely booming with, with, um, productions and stuff like that. And, you know, I had just finished my football career and I realized, you know what, I want to be, I want to be an actor. I want to be a performer. And so I can remember, and it's so funny because, you know, I was talking to my mom and she was always talking about, well, you got to get yourself a good agent. You got to get yourself a good manager. You got to make sure you meet the right people and this and that. And, and, you know, from her experience, that's what, that was how it was done, right? That's how it has been had been done for so long. But what I realized is that I was on a different path because my path was more spiritual than 
um, third dimensional from the standpoint of my progress in life has been dictated by my spiritual evolution, not so much the material evolution. So I can remember around that time is about 2007, 2008. And all I could do was just try and look, I was looking for a person to save me, if you will. I, I just, I needed to find that person that was going to discover me and, 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 and give me a shot and tell me, you know, you're, you're, you got it, kid. You've got what I'm looking for and I'm going to take you to the top. Now <laughs> it took me years, like years to understand that's not how it works. It may work in the movies like that, but that's not how it works um, in real life or in a life that is predicated on a spiritual journey. And so once I, I, I I'm trying to remember when I actually understood it and you know what it was, here it is. I had just lost my, the agent that I had that I thought was going to really deliver me to that big time role. I had just lost that agent and I was really doing some soul searching at the time. And I remember I was driving home one day from an audition. Um, I think it was in Baton Rouge and I was living in New Orleans at the time. And this song by Hillsong came on. It says, all I need is you. All I need is you. And, and my inner guidance system says, all you need is you, right? You don't need anyone else. You don't need anybody else. Yes, there are going to be people that step into the rhythm of the universe as it moves, but all you need is you to make your dreams come true. And at that point in time, I begin to think to myself, why can't I be my own agent? Yes, I can work with different agents and different managers and stuff like that. But why don't I be my own primary agent? And that's when it took off. Right. And, and it started with acting and then it moved into fitness. Okay. So I can remember moving to Los Angeles and really needing to have a, a bit of a change of a career. I don't necessarily know if it was, you know, a change of career as much as it was. I needed something to sustain me until I could get the opportunity to act in a way that I wanted. So I thought about it for a while. And I'm like, okay, what am I good at? What can I do? And right on cue, the universe came through with an opportunity to, to teach fitness, to teach uh, group fitness classes. And uh, I was terrified at first. But then I thought to myself, I like, you know, I love to perform. I love to interact. I love to help people. Let me give this a shot. And it just, it clicked, right? And not only did it click, I realized I had a really strong passion for it. And so I told myself, wouldn't it be awesome if I could be one of the top trainers in Los Angeles? And right then and there, I had started to go into, well, maybe, maybe this person can help me. Maybe that person can help me. And I can remember trying to beg everybody. Do you want to train with me? Do you want to train with me? Like, I remember like hoping and praying to get uh, celebrity clients and all that stuff. And this is a really, really great story that I'm getting to right now. Um, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened at all. Okay. Like I, I was doing well in training, but it wasn't taking off the way that I wanted to. And then that same realization I had driving home from that audition came, came true. And that, that realization was all you need is you, right? All you need is you. You start with you. It starts with you and it ends with you. Now, I'm going to say this again. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be people along the way to help you. But those people are a reflection of your own consciousness. It starts with you guys. OK. And so I realized that I can remember I was on on sunset doing something and I realized that I was like, it starts with me. So I started to use the law of attraction to build up myself and to build my own confidence and to take the time to really come up with new, innovative, creative exercises and to find my own rhythm and my own pattern. And I said, you know what? 
I'm just going to keep my head down and rely on myself and my gifts and my abilities and let the universe work where it desires to. And let me tell you, things took off. I wind up training, you know, having celebrity trainers, uh, I mean, celebrity clients like Kim Kardashian, uh, David Hasselhoff. I had, I think, one or two times um, just a number of different people. But not only them, I had a thriving business in fitness to sort of complement what I was doing as an actor at the time. And it was all because I knew that it started with me. If I would have continued to wait on other people, if I would have continued to wait on someone to deliver me, like we used to always say, like we're waiting on somebody for, for somebody else for deliverance and deliverance is all it is, is basically you're waiting on a savior. There is no savior. You are your own savior. When you know that you stop putting the ideas outside of yourself that someone has to come and lift you up. And I'm going to tell you, it changed my acting career of late as well, too. For the longest time, I'm like, okay, if I get bigger muscles, if I get wider teeth, if I get, you know, um, if I learn how to do another accent a voice, or if I get another headshot or another, you know, uh, real and, and, and all this stuff is great. Don't get me wrong. All this stuff is great for you actors out there, but it's not the physical stuff, the material stuff that matters. It's who you are within, right? It's who you are inside of yourself. You don't need to start anywhere other than inside of you. And when I tell you the law of attraction doesn't bring you what you want, it brings you who you are. And if you know inside that you're confident and you know inside that you're worthy of the dream you're looking for and you're allowing it to happen, guess what? That dream's going to happen in the best possible way, right? I feel like God, the divine, the universe sets things up this way because it wants us to know that we made in the image and likeness have all of the power in the world to do what aligns and is authentic to us. We don't need to wait on anybody, right? It just, it just doesn't have to be that way. I can like, you know, lately I've been doing videos and the, and the beauty of doing these videos, making these videos for YouTube and for Instagram and my other social media pages, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The beauty of it all is that it is all on me, right? All on me. It's not contingent upon somebody having to come up and film me or somebody having to come up and give me a certain number of likes or somebody having to tell me that I'm approved. Yes, those things will happen, but none of that is contingent upon anybody telling me anything. And now I want to say it's OK to take advice. It's OK. It's OK to listen to advice, right? Because people sometimes they mean well. Yet they can kind of overstep their bounds in and, and, and how you know if someone's overstepping their bounds, if you are more successful than the person who is trying to give you advice, be compassionate, take the advice, but understand, OK, you've gotten to where you've gotten because you've listened to yourself. Right. And that's the most important thing is you listening to yourself. Now, sometimes people who are even more successful than you will give you advice that doesn't really necessarily feel authentically on point. And I, and for myself, I feel like the thing that has made me most successful is that it doesn't matter who it is. I always take my own advice, right? I listen to people who give me advice and I respect them and I thank them for it. But at the end of the day, I've got to listen to my own inner guidance, my own self as an expression of God. And I got to move from there. And every time I do that, I benefit, I prosper, I expand, right? That's the beauty. Another aspect, another truth, another um, exciting, you know, part of knowing that all you got is you, right? Everything is just a reflection of you. Every all of life is just reflecting your consciousness. So if that's the case, let's go big. 
right? Let's take it to the highest possible level that we can within ourselves first. And then from there, allow the universe, allow the universal mind to work and use the law of attraction and work in the most amazing way, you know, creating things, creating options in here. Let me tell you, if something doesn't work out, you know that it wasn't in alignment with you. So you keep moving, right? You just keep going. But we need to start within ourselves. So I'm going to lay it out for you right now. Whatever your dream is, whatever it is you desire yourself to be. And let me tell you, you are never too old. You're never too young. I don't care what it is, right? If, if your heart feels it, right? And it, it's something that feels legitimately authentic and aligned with yourself, you can do it. Don't ever feel like you're too old. Don't ever feel like you're too young to start that and to really start developing that within yourself. And I'm going to tell you this, and this is the most important. This is something that, you know, we are, <laughs> we are sometimes led to believe um, can hinder us. But I'm going to tell you like this, there is nothing in the physical world on the outside of you that can hinder you. There is nothing in the physical world, on the material world, on the third dimensional aspect of life, right? That can hinder you from getting what is truly yours. All right. And the reason that is, is because life doesn't work from the outside in. Life works from the inside out, right? As in thought, so in manifestation, not in as in manifestation. So in, you know, the other way around. So really understand that, really understand that what you're seeing is a product of your thoughts, your continued dominant thoughts and feelings. And when you know that, right, doesn't matter what you look like, right? People may tell you, oh, you're too overweight to do that. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, you're not pretty enough. How, let, let, how many, you know, getting back to, cause you know, acting is, is my industry or one of my industries. How many times have, some of the greatest actresses in the world been told they weren't pretty enough, been told that their bodies aren't in complete, you know, complete perfect shape. And then they've still went and succeeded in a way that nobody could have even imagined. And you know why that happens? Because people can tell you crap all day long for years at a time. Only if we believe them do we succumb to living out what they thought about us. But if we say, okay, you know what? This is your, this is your opinion of me. I don't have to own this. I don't have to accept this. I have an opinion of myself and I know that I'm capable. I know what I love to do. I know that God wants to give it to me and I know that it's going to happen and it's going to be done without any trouble whatsoever. And I don't need anyone other than me to believe that and understand that. And that's where I'm going. And guess what? You have people like Meryl Streep, right? Who went through hell, who, who, who was like one of the top actresses in the world. You got people, you know, like Peter Dinklage. I mean, he's, you know, how many times did they tell him he was too little. He was a, he was a little person. He would never make it in Hollywood. And the guy just continues to work and continues to do so well, even after the game of Thrones. So that tells you, right? We may be construed. We may be, be led to think that the physical, the outside, the material matters. Excuse my French, but bullshit. It does not matter. What matters is what's inside of you. What matters is what a type of idea you hold towards yourself right? That is what matters because that's what's going to manifest. And, and people can say whatever they want. Let them call you fat. Let them say you got, you ain't got enough hair. Let them say, you know, you're, you're this, you're that, you're too ugly. You're, you're not skilled enough. You don't have enough knowledge. That's one of the biggest things. Never allow someone to tell you, you don't have enough skill to do something. Cause here's the thing. It's the people that don't have enough skill that are, that are the ones that are open to learning and accessing ideas in a creative capacity that helps them to get further along. 
my problem for a long time was that I knew too much, right? So whenever somebody tried to introduce something new to me, the old conditioning and beliefs that I had would block it right away as opposed to saying, okay, well, you know what? Let me try that. Let me just give that a go, right? For the longest time, I blocked myself because I was waiting on my life to turn out to be how everybody else else's life was. I'm going to tell you, everybody has a different path, right? You got to follow the path that is in alignment with your heart. And just remember, all you need is you. Your dreams start and end with you. If things aren't going the way that you think they should be, you got to fix some stuff inside. You got you to gotta realign some stuff inside. I don't want to say fix because there's nothing to fix. You just got to get the mental blocks out of your way and align with the truth that you want to have for yourself. And I promise you, things are going to happen. Things are going to unfold. Things, you will rise up and be the very best that you can be no matter what it is. I can promise you that. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been fun. I'm excited to get back to it with you and uh, go after some more topics. But I promise you, after this is over, we're going to be you're going to be calling me, texting me, emailing me, talking about all the dreams you've manifested, because I believe in you and I know that you can do it. And I there's nothing, nothing that stops me from believing that. So if you have any questions, anything you want to ask, any feedback, correspondence, whatever it is. Sean G04 at gmail.com, S H A U N G04 at gmail.com. And we will get back with you as soon as we can. With that being said, enjoy your Saturday or Sunday, wherever you are. Have a wonderful day. Talk soon. Take care.